Well, Juneteenth is a holiday commemorating the end of slavery in the United States. It is a federal holiday that takes place every year on June 19th. Communities all over the country are planning events to mark this important date. This morning, Nancy Fishman, owner of a local art gallery in downtown Johnson City, joins us along with Angelita Bradley from the Umoja Festival to tell us a little bit about a partnership and an art display. And ladies, both welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Nancy, let's start with you. You okay. were telling me the art gallery is still fairly new in right. downtown Johnson City. Yep, we opened officially on uh, May 13th uh, with a reception for our first show that I did in conjunction with Bravissima, uh, which is an organization of women supporting the arts. And uh, we had uh, both Bravissima artists and some of my studio artists. I have 15 art studios in the building as well. Oh, wow. So and they're uh, so I call them my artists now. Mm -hmm. uh, so some of them had had uh, their, some of their work up as well. Um, so um, for this month, for June, uh, I thought it would be great to commemorate uh, June, Juneteenth and mm -hmm. also work with the our black community in Johnson City uh, to put up this show. So this is the second show that is in the gallery. Well, I've not gallery. been there, but I am yeah. certainly looking forward to it. And it's right downtown, kind of faces King Commons, yes. right? Yes, yep, on Commerce Street between Voodoo Chicken now and <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, the Trek Bicycle Store. Okay. So, yeah. Wonderful. And Angelita, I know what a neat opportunity to do something different and, of course, mm -hmm. highlight this important month. Yes, it is. And I'm uh, very thankful for Nancy to with coming up with this idea to partner together to uh, highlight some of our local uh, artists. A lot of them uh, have never even had their art displayed, have never had the opportunity. So this is a good chance for people to come in and see what they can do. What's it been like for you gathering all of this art and just seeing what's out there? Well, it has been a job, but <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a lot involved, but we uh, feel like that it's gonna be a great show and we just really encourage everybody to come. And you're doing lots of different things with this art show. And Nancy, I know, kind of putting it all together, lots of different areas mm -hmm. of art. Well, we have painters. Uh, we have an example of that. Uh, this is from uh, Pam Faw. I mean, yeah, Pam Faw did this. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some sculpture. We have uh, th this fantastic wire sculpture, as, as well as some glass sculpture. Um, and uh, Angelita came up with the idea of of displaying the hats, mm -hmm. uh, right. fancy ladies' hats. Yes. Um, so we've got a combination of of uh, handcrafted work as well as as these great hats. Mm -hmm. And uh, you said so. that hat display really special. Seeing all of these kind of coming out mm -hmm. and putting them on display. Yes, ma'am. That is so true. And uh, our theme here, art, is our voice, and um, a lot of things can be expressed through art in different types. It doesn't have to just be paintings. Wonderful. So. And you're having a reception, kind of a kickoff, mm -hmm. yes. coming up this week on Friday. On Friday from 6 to 9. Uh, and I had forgotten that the Blue Plum Festival was going to take place again, but we'll be part of, you know, all the, the activities yeah. that are going on for Blue Plum, as well as the gallery. And I'm hoping people will just walk in uh, to see the exhibit as well. So uh, we should be open also Saturday morning, so uh, people who are downtown as well can come by the sh and see the show. And what a great opportunity to have it up for several weeks so people have an opportunity in tying it into the Emoja Festival and of course mm -hmm. Juneteenth. Exactly, uh, everything will be on display for the whole month of June. So if you can't come on Friday, then you have a whole month to get there. <laughs> Well, we'll give everybody the information. The gallery is located over there on Commerce Street. Again, that faces King Commons, and it begins this Friday with that reception that they were talking about. That's June the 3rd, and then that display will be up through the month of June. We're going to take a break. We're back with more of Daytime right after this.